Alright, let's trundle it up. Q Max, Tiamat, Sheen item, so Triforce or Sundra, depending whether you're feeling ballsy or not. <laughs> and then Tanky after that. Trundle's a little bit an antiquated as a jungler, to be honest. Like, problem with Trundle is that he's good at just smacking people around 1v1. But people nowadays have such good, like, gap closers, they just always run away from you. So, the lower mobility people have, the better. So, I've got, like, a Yasuo on the enemy team. Like, you can pillar them. Kind of ruin them, which is good. He basically stat checks people, but people can walk away from him. So, yeah. He also doesn't clear particularly fast. He's got no good AoEs. You can see I'm skipping the wolves and... Oh, the chickens and uh, krugs. I mean, they're not terrible, but... That's why you rush Tiamat. Seems like Warwick or something. To do runes bottom left, we've got lethal tempo. As we beat people up and just swing really hard. Since you get bonus AD when you use your Q, it makes sense to just want to hit as much as you can. That's why attack speed is quite a good stat on Trundle. Make the most of the uptime of that AD buff. Alright, Hecarim's probably started bot side, so there's not going to be too much going there. All my lanes are pushed in. So unlikely to have any. Successful Gankarinos there either. Don't know where Hecarim is, to be honest. Set did just check top and he's just not there, but he could... Oh, he is actually bot. Started top side, interesting. If we can hold on here, then I can come and counter. Don't do it, Zaya. Perfect. Nom. Uh, she should just recall here. Don't push. Just recall. So many minions. Okay. She's going to push. So I could stay and help her push, but there's just so many minions. That's a lot of minions to tax, like, XP from. It really would just be good for her to just recall. Waves pushing into her. Chilling. Yeah. Let's see if we can get mid to... Maybe, if nothing else, we can blow some mana from Aesol on his... Is that a red card? Okay. Don't have red buff myself, so he should be able to just walk away from me, but... Maybe not. <laughs> cool. Can we get a plate here? Just a push? Is that D-Mat? It was D-Mat. Holy shit. Maybe we bot here? Camp and bot again? In my pocket. Beautiful. Aesol does glide over the pillar, but at least he'd have to use his glide, right? Where is Alistair? Is, she, is he here? I think he's. Can we get him here? Don't think so, right? No. Should be able to just walk away from this. I give up. Still push him out of lane, which is nice. Yeah, not quite able to do what we wanted to do. That was a big chase, honestly, for missing that wave. Not really worth it. All right, Tiamat, Sheen, beautiful. Don't have shoes, but it's fine. I've got free shoes in my in my runes, so I don't have to buy shoes. Had a good day full of boothing today and had fun. Excellent. Excellent. So we want to see. I saw Broxa playing her and he full cleared before Crab spawned, though he did also get low. That's what the potion's for. Well, yeah, <laughs> true. That's what your potion's for. Yeah, she clears fast for sure. But like I say, you just get low. It's not great. God damn you, Hecarim. How dare you. I hmm. wonder if he could have baited that. I don't know. Maybe. Now we've got our teammate, we do slightly better AoE. Well, we did good, good AoE clears, so. We're, uh, we're in the money here for. Uh, we won't really keep up with Hecarim. Hecarim's kind of crazy, but. Oh, 
We should be able to at least have some decent clears here. Do 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 do. This crab. And uh, we can certainly go for this dragon as well. Hecarim's probably topside. Don't think he should be here. I don't know where Hecarim is, so... But I, I don't think he'll be here. I don't think he'll be here. Should be fine. I'm going to put my potion just in case, but we really should be fine here. I guess I invade the chickens as well here. If Hecarim's smart, he's coming to my... My top side here, knowing that I'm bot side. We'll see. These chickens aren't up. I know this red isn't up just yet either. It will be soon though. Wow, really nothing is up here. That is surprising. I mean, I guess he... Yeah, let's just wait for this, I guess. I don't know. This is not a good use of my time, really, but... I just don't know where Hecarim is. I'll be honest, he is top. He's got a red bar, so he has. He basically took my whole top side here, which is to be expected, honestly. I can take his bot side fully as well. So I, I need to do this. I need to respond. Like if I don't take his bot side, then I've just lost my top side for absolutely nothing here. Doesn't mean we might lose this herald here, but it's okay, I guess. Mm. I think maybe going mid here is better than Krogs. I'm not going to use my W because I don't want to rat myself out. I don't want them to know where I am. Can we dive this? I know that's warded, but... I tanked for... Oh, he just... He just dinged six. No, that's so unlucky, dude. I wanted to dive while they were still level five. They just hit six. That's a little bit, a little bit unlucked. <laughs> no, let's do Triforce. I'm not a wimp. I'm not a wimp. Yeah, I did want to go for that gank before they had ulties, but. It is what it is. TF might ult back mid, to be honest. I don't know. I don't think he will, especially if I'm holding it. Alright, Howard might be coming down mid. It's fine. I assume he's does he have ult? Has ult, yeah. You can never bag something too many times. Do 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 I know this bot crab isn't up. But I should walk in the river just to get it off the get it off the mini map here. Okay, so if Hecarim's topside, I'll go for his bot jungle. Is it just is he just running to gank? Oh my god. I'm ruining everything here. My decision making sucks. We'll just go for the easy kill here. 
Okay, we'll go for no kills here. Dude, that's so lame. Holy fuck. Oh! Dude, my passive almost saved me there. Nice. Ah, uh, mate, I hesitated there. I hesitated too much. That was pretty cool, though. I think it's um, Ninja Tabby this game, right? I think it's a Ninja Tabby game. Damage from Hecarim and the Asso is probably going to be the main damage there. Block a lot. Uh, I don't think Mercs really does too much for me. There's a decent amount of CC, but it's not really CC I can stop. Specifically, like Yasuo and Alistair combos. Like knock ups, not things that Tenacity helps with. Let's go Dragon if uh, Aso is top. And dead. That helps too. Very nice. Do we bought here? Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. But am I actually nervous? I could maybe sit here. I think I've run away and then they won't expect this. No, he didn't. What a dickhead. I can stick my topside jungle again. Kill me. Thank you. Where's Hecarim? He's on the way, right? Hecarim is just farming up everything, though. It's kind of to be expected from Hecarim, but we're doing some good plays, so hopefully us having a stronger team. Hopefully. Can, uh, can help us out. I'm going to say good job, top BTW. I mean, I'm not being top once, and this guy's doing well. He's also drawn a lot of attention to himself. Your team has destroyed a turret. We're kind of like splitting the map in half, Hecarim and I. An ally has been slain. So basically, I'm putting focus on bot side and invading his bot jungle. He's putting focus on top side and invading my top jungle. Now that is a good pillar. We know Alice doesn't have ult, so hopefully. Can we dive? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, that's a bad pillar. That's a terrible pillar. Ekrim's over the wall behind us here. Oh, I'm trolling. That's a Gwen TP as well, we run. We'll try and run at least. Let's get out of here. Getting lost in the source a little bit here, trying to counter invade. To be honest, it's my fault, I think. That's what it is, of course. Just 
She's got all. Oh, she's not going to use it. <laughs> Don't have all Woof Perfect Team gap This is what I said I was hoping would happen <laughs> We put Resources into our bot side Our team Our mid and bot side is stronger Uh, yeah, let's play for drag again. I mean, we're only one away from soul if we do. 20 seconds. I can probably get Gromp here and then go to drag. Not sure you can name your map Mini. <laughs> what can I say? Upon changing your settings for your map size in League of Legends, you have to submit a picture of your member. And Riot then changes the map size to match the member and obviously this is the biggest map you can get so this doesn't seem like a good idea for them. Hecarim is not here for what it's worth. He is topside. No. Well I was wrong. That was a good idea for them. Bit surprising, considering how they entered that fight was pretty bad. But I guess Set wasn't here. But then again, nor was nor was Hecarim, so I don't don't really get it. I'm surprised we lost that actually. Good combo from Yasuo, I suppose. Well, I'll assume to Yasuo. Funny story. One of the prints I was selling is one of Ramus, and my friend who was in charge of listing down the sales didn't know who he was, so it's just wrote him down as Le League Turtle. <laughs> That's so cute. I mean, not wrong. Guess. Let's go my red buff again. This guy is like... So addicted to just farming my jungle. I mean, he has 160 CS, so... Fair play, I guess, but... Does he have W? No, he doesn't. I mean, at this point, it is getting a little bit samey here, though. He farms my jungle and then just kills Set. It's like, mm. It was nice when I was getting things bot side, but now, honestly, we're just left with the reality of a super fed Hecarim. And I don't know, it's not great, really. Look at my mechanics, bro. Don't pin me down. What are you doing? Yeah, those knock-ups are irritating. <laughs> That's kind of annoying, but whatever. Can I just get one more camp for this shield? Can I just get one more camp for this shield, please? Heck of a bot. I mean, we were like, what, 20-ish CS behind this guy most of the game? He's now about 100 ahead of us. Guess I hold bot. Uh, he's certainly... I mean, to be fair, for solo queue, it's not a terrible strategy. Like, his team is not losing that hard, considering he is for his, for his strat, right? He's like, I don't help my team strategy. He's probably taking my jungle as well here. That's fine. I am not surprised.
Backroom's got to be here, surely. Just use the pillar to disengage. Pop my ult on him to shred his resistances. Woof. Just as scary as it looks. No, not really. Oh, is that pillar good? It's good enough, baby. Let's go. Cool. Stick my ulti on, on Hecarim that time, because... Like, you, you want to balance it between sticking it on someone who has the most resistances, so you're stealing the most resistances and getting tanky for yourself. Uh, so you want to do that, but you also want to put it on someone that your team wants to focus down, right? So tanky targets, good, so that you get tanky, turn them to paper. And then just like frontline targets, like in this case, Hecarim, because we're focusing Hecarim. Right. So yeah, that time it was Hecarim. I got a lot of gold to spend here, so it's fine. I don't think I'm doing Bork though, am I? Bork seems a bit too much. I think I want to be tankier here. Kind of need to... Unfortunately, I can't need everything. Could just do anathemas for Hecarim though. It's pretty big. It's tempting though. Immobile? Gwen is immobile? What the fuck? As if Gwen is listed as immobile. I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> There's no way. God, I actually don't know what I'm building here. It's probably Thornmail, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So there's an argument for me to get magic resist and then get anathemas for Hecarim or something. Yeah, this Hecarim's actually insane. He's so fucking selfish. I protect you. He's turbo out though. There's no way we catch him. Is he gone full DPS? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Is a bit cowardice, considering I've got Triforce, you know. I feel like with Triforce, I should have gone maybe a bit more ballsy, but I mean, we have enough damage, right? Do do Bork then tank, but that's just you. Unfortunately, I have a lot of damage, right? If I do that and then tank, it's like, okay, at what point am I going to start getting tank items? 30, 35 minutes? When the team fights are already opening, it feels a bit too late. I think we're strong enough to group regardless of Hecarim now, but I will again. At this point, he's got a decent amount of resistances that I can shred. Yeah, I guess the max health damage is nice too. Hecarim's bot farming again. What was that? Oh, right. I could pick up my red buff as well, but I want to sit with my team here. Yeah, we probably should be bot. That's not a bad shot. Hole breaker, I'm hunting alone. Okay. He will just oh wow this if he okay doesn't get stunned. Nice. My OC was pretty big there actually. He has a lot of health as well, so. Gross. I mean, Shojin still League of Shojin, I guess. What the fuck? What the hell, man? This guy's got the set augment from TFT where he does press ups and gets juiced up. Sheesh. I think honestly, for what it was, what it's worth, that 
Hecarim's strategy is not terrible, but he got he did the part where he was selfish and got strong and could one v nine. He just didn't do the one v nineing part. You know, he just kind of stayed by himself all game. That set was insane. I don't know. <coughs> it's probably, generally speaking, a better strategy than what I did this game. Because, like, he's strong. And you can individually impact the game. So, I guess.